Hello friends, welcome to chemical industry presentations. Today we are going to see sugar industry. In this we are going to see extraction and purification of sugar cane juice. First of all we should know what is sugar. Sugar is a disaccharide known as sucrose. This sucrose is made up of glucose and fructose. Sugar is obtained from sugar cane and beet. Importance of sugar industry is that it gives sugar, it gives molasses which can be used to get alcohol. Waste product bag assay is used in paper industry, it is used as fuel and it is also used as source of carbon. We should know what is sugar cane or how it looks. Sugar cane is a tropical grass which is like bamboo. It is 8 to 10 feet in height. It has nodes and internodes. Internodes contains more juice. Nodes contain less juice and are harder. But nodes have eyes or buds which can sprout and can be used for planting. Typical sugar cane, there is 70 to 75% water, 10 to 15% sugar and 0.5 to 1% reducing sugar. Reducing sugars, they are aldehydes which can reduce CO2 plus to CO plus 1. Percentage of fiber is 20% and ash is 1%. It also contains organic acid which is 1%. We will see harvesting of sugar cane. Sugar cane are cut at the ground level when they are fully grown. Leaves of this fully grown sugar cane are cut because they impart color to juice and also they don't have sugar. Harvested crop is transported to sugar industry. Important thing about harvesting and transportation is that after harvesting the crop the transportation should be done as quick as possible. The reason is inversion of sugar. In inversion of sugar, sucrose gets broken down into glucose and fructose. And because of this, your yield of sugar will reduce. After harvesting, extraction of sugarcane juice is done. Here, first cleaning of sugar cane is done by spraying water. This is done to remove mud and insect. Chopping of sugar cane is done with the help of rotating blades, which have 400 to 600 rpm. Chopped sugar cane is pressed with the help of three rollers. Two rollers at the bottom and one is at the top which is present on the two rollers. Top and bottom rollers they rotate in opposite direction. Extraction of juice is done with the help of two to three extraction mills and these mills are arranged in series. After the extraction of cane juice you get a fibrous material which is known as bagasse. Now we will see compound imbibition process which is used for maximum extraction of your sugarcane juice. Here the bagasse from the third meal is soaked in water. Water is absorbed by this bagasse. This bagasse is again sent to mill to extract the left amount of sugar in the bagasse. This helps us to extract maximum juice from the bagasse almost 95 to 99 percent. Compound ambition thus helps us to increase yield of sugar. Bagasse which is obtained is dried and pressed and it can be used as fuel. After extraction of juice purification of juice is done. 
purification of juice is done in three stages first is clarification second is sulfidation and third is carbonation first we will see clarification of cane juice by lime defecation process the ph of sugar cane juice is 5.1 to 5.7 this juice is passed in defecation tanks which are circular at the top and conical at the bottom to the juice we add lime and ph of the juice is increased to 7.0 to 7.3 after this we do heating of juice around 90 to 110 degrees celsius is obtained in this insoluble lime salts and coagulated protein precipitates out this whole thing is known as scrum scrum floats on the top of the tank and can be removed physically after removing scrum brownish color juice is obtained this juice contains calcium sacrate and small amount of calcium hydroxide after clarification sulfidation process is done on cane juice here so2 gas is passed through the juice at 75 degrees celsius because of this ph changes to 6.9 to 7.0 this is known as first sulfidation again so2 is passed but it is at higher temperature around 103 degrees celsius and here ph changes to 5.5 sulfidation process removes color of the juice this happens because so2 is a bleaching agent and it bleaches out the coloring matter present in the juice this process is also known as double sulfidation process as so2 is passed two times now the last step for purification of juice is carbonation juice from sulfidation tank is heated to 55 degrees celsius and then we add lime to remove excess of sulfate excess of lime is removed by passing co2 gas when you pass co2 gas lime forms calcium carbonate which is insoluble and this can be removed easily thank you friends and subscribe our channel ecam hub for information on upcoming lectures in chemistry thank you again